I got some good news for you guys today, and that is that the Nikon Z6 is finally getting some love, and that's from Premiere. Because finally, Premiere Beta has bringing out some additional features for ProRes RAW. This is something that I've been waiting for, and perhaps you guys have been waiting for as well, and that's to go beyond the exposure compensation within the master profile of the actual clip that you're working on. What we're getting now is a conversion from RAW to LOG, and that is being applied naturally. The LUT is actually available from Nikon, but you don't need it. Unless you're shooting N log, you don't need to use the LUT that's being provided by Nikon at this point. This profile automatically gives you the conversion to go to the proper profile that Nikon was supposed to give you from the get-go and achieve the best white balance and tonality for your picture. I thought that it was quite simple, just a minor adjustment here and there, but it's not. It's a big jump from what we're used to working with and what it is you're achieving now. So this is very exciting times for all Nikon shooters and everything that is ProRes RAW related because now that the Automus is able to reproduce so many profiles all of those conversions are being applied now directly in Premiere, and therefore all of those companies and all those cameras are getting better quality image. I'll show you some things that you probably would want to use. One of the things you guys need to do before working in Nlog is to actually install the LUT from Nikon onto Premiere and Media Encoder. And that process is quite simple, but you must do it before you start working on it. So we're going to go straight to your C drive and then you're going to go to program files. We can go to media encoder beta, for example, that's where we have everything that we're doing right now. Or you can go to the regular media encoder. Nonetheless, in all of them, you need to go to the same folder. Otherwise, when you're working with your log profiles, it will not work. The colors will not be exported properly. That's because the LUT is not installed within the proper folders. We're going to go here. So right now we're in Media Encoder and we're going to go next, we're going to look for, in Lumetri we're going to go to LUTs, in LUTs you're going to go to Creative, and in Creative you're going to change the name Nikon Z6 Profile or whichever camera you're using, just change it, I usually like to put an A in front of it, that way it's the first LUT available when I'm working in Premiere. For Premiere you do the same thing as well, you go to Adobe, and then you go to, uh, where is it, Premiere, and you go to Lumetri, you go to LUTs. Uh, creative as you can see it's right there for me as well install it and you will have no problems exporting your files for them to look the way you wanted them to look from the get-go let's import the the intro to this video and that will be an easier for you guys to see how this is going to work out so i'm also recording the audio separately onto the computer so i can get better audio and that seems to be working for me lately much better let's go to a portion of the file here that uh, we can work on uh, let's see a part that don't look so stiff or weird. Uh, yeah, that's me. That's how I look before I start recording. I'm very uh, tensed up and everything. It takes me a long time to uh, ch chillax to get rolling. So we have all of that set. And now we can actually go into the master's tab here of this uh, of this video. And we can start adjusting things as they, as they are. As you can see, there's a color space here now it's being available for the beta. And this is where you choose how you want to convert your profile according to what camera system you're using. And there's a, a couple of different ones. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get them right, but I'm hoping I will. So the regular one is BT709, which is just your regular standard um, conversion. I do not recommend you using it anymore because you'll see why in a little bit. These are the tones that uh, as you guys can see here on the Ninja, that's the tones that I was showing me in the Ninja and that's the tones that I captured. That's not the tone that Premiere is giving me when I'm editing. As you guys can see, regardless of what I do here, it's not the tones that I'm getting. I have to actually bring down the, the, uh, the white balance to get that perhaps and maybe increase this a little bit to probably achieve that same look that I have on the other side. You know, someplace around there. That's a big difference compared to the actual file. The next one we got is uh, Canon. I believe that's a Canon uh, Cinema Gamut. We also got uh, D. I'm not sure what D stands for. This is the one for Nikon. This one, the V, not sure what that one's for either. So I think the S is for Sony and Sony here. So V and D, I have no clue what those are for. That's the Rec 2020 analog that we want to use. Now, like I said earlier, when you're using RAW, you do not need to apply the 3D LUT. You just uh, convert it and that's it. You just work from there. You don't need to install, uh, you, you don't need to go through the creative tab anymore and install the LUT as if it was a regular log profile because it already does a conversion for you without uh, anything else being applied. So I had to stop here because I could not go any longer with this particular portion of the video. As I said earlier, I would explain later. And what happened is that as soon as I was done with it, recording this video, 
I did an update and did not realize that the update was gonna be so different to what it was right now. ProRes RAW 1.2 was the one that I had installed in your, my computer and ProRes RAW 1.3 from Apple had just come out or it came out a few days ago or who knows when. So I installed it and everything went out the window. As far as me telling you or not sure if I got to that point yet where like you, could, you shouldn't apply any LUTs or anything like that, that just went out the window and now ProRes RAW is actually acting like a true log file where you actually get to apply the LUTs. So I'm gonna show you that right now because everything is completely different to what I had earlier and we have to do this whole portion all over again. Let's carry this on. What we're doing right now is actually installing the LUT as if it was an actual uh, M-Log profile because of the conversion. This is the way it should have been but in 1.2 it was not available therefore that was the re reason why I was talking the way I was in the prior portion. Now you install your LUT and this is what you get. So as you guys can see, the A is here, so therefore my LUT appears uh, first in the in the list. And that's the reason why I was telling you guys to put in A because that way you don't have to search for it. You can uh, play with your shadows, tints, increase the sharpness, vibrance, and, and saturation. So it's not a big deal as to what it is. It's just it gives you a little more uh, creativity process as to where in 1.2 you could not do so and it should not be a problem when, to, when working with it. So based on that, I can just tell you that the colors are much better, the tonality of the files are way better, and the white balance appears as what it was uh, truly captured within the cameras. This is the way uh, Premiere is going forward with now, and this is exactly what I was hoping to uh, achieve from the get-go. But just remember, one thing that uh, will be always true, your white balance is extremely important, so get that right from the get-go. So I hope that what you saw today takes you in a whole new direction and ProRes RAW 1.3 is the new uh, profile that's available right now from Apple. So download it for you to have this compatibility with uh, Premiere Beta and for you to work a lot easier. So if you like what you saw today, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. And if you, anything was off or you feel like you got a little lost, leave me a comment. I will try to answer that as soon as possible and get you back on track. Like always, I really appreciate you sticking to the end and I'll see you in the next one.